A couple months ago, I was having my average night, drinking coffee, watching YouTube, when I stumbled upon this video, and I couldn't help but think, I wonder what my ex-boyfriends would say about me. And if you think this was easy, it wasn't. I had people bail last minute, a couple of people cancel on me, and some straight up even say no or not respond, which I completely understand because this isn't a normal request. But my assistant through and through texted and got victims. I mean exes, to be in this video and partake in these odd questions. I'm sitting there with headphones on and then I will be reacting. My assistant's gonna be back there. She's gonna be asking these questions. I have a handy dandy folder. We're very official. We're ready. We're ready. Oh my God. We've been playing this for a long time. We're ready for this. I'm ex-boyfriend number one. Hi, I'm ex-boyfriend number two. I am ex-boyfriend number three. I'm uh, ex-boyfriend number four. And I'm the one and only ex-girlfriend. And by the way, how did you and Tara meet? Um, look, I just, I don't know if I'm comfortable doing this, if I'm being honest with you guys. Like, you can save the footage, but I think I might need to get out of here. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. What just happened? Uh, I don't think he was comfortable. Did he leave? Yeah. Yeah, can we still use that footage? Yeah, he said we could use it. Did you say what? Mm -hmm. How did you and Tara meet? We met after the <laughs> dance. I was performing with a friend of mine and she approached me after that. Tara would come to a restaurant that I worked at. One day she walked in and we started talking more than just the usual server, customer kind of vibe. So I was serving, uh, obviously, you know, putting on the charm. Uh, Tara was kind of cute. I had a little little schoolboy crush on her. She was pretty bold, actually. I believe she left me a really big tip. I do remember thinking, ooh, maybe if I leave a fat tip, I'll be like, ooh, this girl's interested. I don't know why I thought that, but I guess it worked. I should say, prior to this, me and her followed each other on the gram, mm -hmm. and I sent her a message saying like, wow, big tipper or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, buy yourself something nice. And then I was kind of like, let's go out. How about that? <laughs> Sushi, <laughs> something like that. Sixth grade, just in school. What is a brief timeline of when you guys were seeing each other? It was pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. It lasted a couple months, I feel like. Um, and generally, like, when was it? This like, was senior year. Senior yeah, year. senior year of high school. She was, I think she was also in her first year of college, and I was in my, like, second or third okay. year of college. I don't think I'd call it on and off. It was weird, because I was actually here, because I was studying abroad for a few months, and we actually met kind of in the beginning. And then I actually left back to where I was studying mm -hmm. and um, we kind of stayed in touch but you know at one point you know the whole long distance thing doesn't really work out. I think it began in like sophomore junior year mm -hmm. of high school. And then were you seeing each other for like a consistent period of time or was it kind of on I think it was kind of on and off. Okay. Yeah. It was eighth grade. Like imagine eighth grade until like late senior year. Yeah it was on and off. What is something that you guys used to do for fun? I got to know I'm not putting that in. We were just going places constantly. Um, I went to a zoo. So yeah, I guess just driving to random places. I thought he would say clubbing. I feel like me and this ex used to club a lot. We used to go to parties a lot, a lot, like every night. Go up to a local view. What is your favorite thing about Tara? She always smelled good. This video is sponsored by Semford. Semford is a subscription service. I love perfumes. If you guys know me, you know that. You can try out a bunch of new perfumes in actually really big sample sizes. It comes in these little twisty things where you can pull it out and there's your perfume, Versace Bright Circle. It smells really good. Look how big the sample is. I love this one. This one is Sanctuary Red Panda. That one's my favorite. There's over 600 really cool perfumes that you can choose from. You can even download the app for your convenience. And the good thing about Scentbird is that you can skip a month. They're really flexible and you don't even get charged to skip a month, it's great. Each sample is a 30 day supply, so it's pretty big compared to the little ones you get at the mall. It's usually $16 a month, which is a really great deal, but with my code for 30% off, you guys can get it for $11 for your first month, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Semperd, for sponsoring this video. Check out the links below. 
There's a lot of good things about Tara. True that. There is a lot of good things about me. There's also a lot of bad ones, but. Tara is actually a really social person. She's a, she's a social butterfly. It's something that I like because I consider myself pretty social. Mm -hmm. And um, it's nice having somebody next to you, whether it's a friend or something more that can just kind of go into any environment and just be cool and relaxed. Some people don't like that I'm social and energetic and some people do. It's just opinion. Very energetic, complete opposite of me. Is there anything that specifically reminds you of Tara? I guess the aesthetic. Your yes. style. Yeah, any Mini Cooper ever. I only drive Mini Coopers, baby. <laughs> yep. Definitely piercings or tattoos. Was she annoying? No, she was annoying. Liar! I know I was annoying. If the rest of the people don't say yes, I'll be surprised, because I am very annoying. I'm very aware of that. Self-aware, guys. As long as you're self-aware of it, it's fine. She, she had certain traits. Sure. But it was never annoying. Yeah, sure, totally. <laughs> Everybody's annoying, but she was specifically annoying, yes. <laughs> Yes, I am. A little. A little annoying. I was way more than a little annoying, especially to this person. Thank you for uh, keeping me humble. Do you think she's changed? I think so. I think she's definitely changed a little bit. Her new lifestyle changed her. That really surprises me because I don't think I've changed at all. From what I can tell, she hasn't changed. She's still the same person. No. But you think she's exactly the same? Yeah. Okay. In a good way. What is your least favorite thing about Tara? Can't say, that's too that's too deep. <laughs> I can't. What's too deep? Just say something you don't like about me. It's not that hard. Obviously some fear. Oh, that she thinks she's like a really good barista. She worked at Pete's for like maybe three days and she assumes that she's like some sort of coffee goddess. But like, let, let me tell you, I've been doing this, you know? I'll make the best cappuccino you've ever had. <laughs> I'm a great barista! Your cappuccinos aren't that good. That pisses me off so much. I didn't work at Pete's for three days. I worked for like three months and that's long enough. I made you coffee. Did you not like it? Just like how energetic and loud is complete opposite of me. What is one thing that you learn from each other? I guess that uh, friendships kind of drift apart, but then you could just spark them back up again, you know? When did we become friends again? <laughs> uh, I don't recall. Maybe this week when I asked him to be in this video. Other than that, I don't think we've talked since high school. Well, that I probably shouldn't be in another long distance relationship. They're hard. Yeah, they're hard. And it's like, one, it's bad enough that you're far away from someone you care about, but seeing them upset, is it's, it's not something that anybody should have to go through. So I think just to say everybody, stay in your uh, five to 10 mile vicinity. Long distance relationships are hard and I personally don't recommend them, but I mean, whatever works for you. I know some people's long distance relationship is going great, but personally for me and this other person, obviously it didn't work out. Learned my personality. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. how I'm the polar opposite. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> like I know makes how sense. I, yeah. How did you end things and why? I feel like it just kind of drifted apart. Mm -hmm. You know, Fizzled. yeah. It was strong at one point, but then it just kind of mm -hmm. vanished. Okay. It wasn't harsh. You know, we didn't have that long of a relationship to begin with, so I think we kind of just you know, weren't ready or prepared. I don't know if anyone really would be for someone to go that, um, you know, far for so long. Mm -hmm. And I think we kind of just realized that, you know, it doesn't uh, make sense to continue the way that we were going because yeah. it, it's only causing pain and malice to, you know, both of us. And she, you know, made the decision and I agreed with her. Yeah. So. so it was mutual, which is nice. Yeah, but she'll say it was her for sure. I was gonna say, if he says that it was mutual, I definitely broke up with him. Yeah, he was not cross country, he was cross the world. Um. You guys don't see, because it's blurred, but he just chuckled. He just went, what's that supposed to mean? You're like, she's a crackhead, I gotta go. <laughs> that definitely played a part, because it was just too much to handle. I, I thought it was mutual, fun. to be honest. I was too much to handle, is that why we ended? I don't like disagree, but also like, okay. Would you say that you guys are still friends now? Yeah. I don't know if I would agree with, with that one. I don't know if we are still friends. We don't talk very often at all, actually. Yeah, I would definitely say we're still friends. I wouldn't say that it's like reach out and hang out and talk, mm -hmm. but I mean, if she needs me, if I need her, I'm sure we'd be there for each other. Definitely, that's why I'm here. Do you have any funny stories? There's a shirt that I can't wear anymore just because it's hard. I was, I think I was wearing this shirt and then something just happened to this shirt that oh, made me want to get rid of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have the shirt. Where's the shirt? What's he talking about? Just kidding, I know, but I don't have the shirt, sorry. Ex-boyfriend number one. Whenever we were at restaurants, we would both like 
automatically flirt with the server. If I if it's a girl, I'm flirting with her. If it's a guy, she's flirting with him. The poor yeah. server would get really confused because it's like we seemed like we were together, but at the same time, it's like we're giving these servers eyes and you know talking to them and complimenting them. A lot of weird instances came yeah. out of that. First one that comes off the top of my head is Canyon. Mm -hmm. My car, like the battery died <laughs> while we were up there. And this was, a, oh. I think, junior year, so I had to call my dad and tell him. I said I was taking pictures for, like, a nature club or some shit. Because, <gasps> <laughs> like, you know, like, I'm in, like, a view, like, there's right. plants and, like, stuff. So I said I was, like, taking pictures of something. Right. And, like, yeah, my car battery died, so she had to, like, leave. And then my dad came and had to, like, jumpstart my car. I've actually told that story on Twitter before, so shout out if you already knew that story. It's funny coming out of the other person's mouth. Right now, yes. you have Tara in a, in a place where you like she can't hear anything that's happening right now, but she will hear <laughs> it later. Yeah. Is there anything that you would want to say to her, like in that context, where you're not gonna you're not gonna say it to her in person? But she'll hear it later, and you could like block her number real quick after. <laughs> block Maybe. my number. Yeah, no sure. Maybe I just wish we kept in touch because she she's a pretty nice person. Yeah. Good relationship to have. You said we were friends, and suddenly you wish we kept in touch. A little contradicting, but I see what you mean. A message? I don't. I don't know. I don't think I really have one. Congrats. I guess you know. I, yeah. I know YouTube was like a huge thing that she yeah. wanted to do. So yeah. To see where she's at now is. Big. I'm gonna literally start crying. Yeah, there was a lot of people who doubted me and a lot of people who said that like, oh, why is she so happy? Why is she so, um, and I drink all the time and I proved them wrong, so. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I told you it'd be Perfect. painless. That was quick, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Done, that was easy, right? Yeah, that was great. That was it. See, it was easy, right? That was pretty easy. Don't interview your ex-boyfriends. I'm kidding. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, it was definitely entertaining to watch and to see what these people think of me. I'm thinking about making this a series on my channel, maybe with some ex-teachers, maybe with some ex-coworkers. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below who or what you guys want to see next. And new merch coming soon. Time to skedaddle. Bye, guys. Come on, on set. Come on, on set. <laughs> Like, yeah, there we go. Recover very well. Oh yeah. my god! Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! Look at Okay, so anything else that you used to do for fun? No. Nah. Okay, That's great. About it. <laughs> so, this was a deep and nurturing relationship. Absolutely. Together. I'm not gonna tell the story. You tell the story. I drunk Kaidas for a lot of the time we were dating. Ooh. Just so you know. Really? <laughs> Did you get it? That's what happened. No. Okay, guys. That we would do regularly. Mm -hmm. I would say that some. Oh, oh, introduce yourself as ex boyfriend, too. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Okay, so introduce yourself. Hi, my name is. No! <laughs> Don't say b at all. I have some questions set. <laughs> More? Oh, yeah. Tara, a bad kisser. Tara, a bad kisser. <laughs> oh, God. I'm okay. <laughs> Tara said. Don't you remember everything? <laughs> the thing I am so annoying. She literally interrupts. Yes. Close your ears. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can't hear shit. Assistants are both of us. Yes. <laughs> Yes, we are hiring assistants and then we're going to invoice you for it. Jenna and Corey actually thought they were being paid to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll take a little cut too. Exactly. I'll, I'll yeah, exactly. Who wants half your AdSense for this video? I Listen, I'm both kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I will invoice you for $3,000 at the end of this. Yeah.